morning, everyone. It's Miss Howes. I'm here with our Tuesday Read Aloud today, and the book that I've picked out is called Splat the Cat on with the Show. And it says, based on the creation of Rob Scotton. Splat the Cat on with the Show. Splat and his classmates were getting ready to perform the school play Cinder Paws. Backstage was a flurry of fur as the cats put on their costumes. Splat was so excited to be performing. He had butterflies in his tummy. So they're performing the play Cinder Paws. I wonder if that's a story that you guys have heard before. Maybe not Cinder Paws, but another Cinder. Let the show begin, announced Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. The curtain rose and the lights grew bright. Kitten dressed as Cinder Paws. Kitten dressed as Cinder Paws was very busy sweeping the floor. Poor Cinder Paws. Her stepmother and stepsisters were very mean to her. Clean the floor. Sew the dress. Clean the floor again. When a royal ball was announced, Cinder Paws was left at home. She cried and cried. Suddenly, there was a puff of smoke and her fairy godmouse appeared. It was really Seymour. Can you guys see little Seymour there? The fairy godmouse magically changed Cinder Paws' rags into a beautiful dress. Next, the mice were changed into horses. They pulled a grand carriage to the ball. Backstage, Spike was changing too. There was a big problem. Spike was about to make his grand entrance as Paw Prince Charming, but he had stage fright. I can't go on. I'm not feeling well. I've got a bad case of the spots, wailed Spike. He pointed to some purple spots on his face. Oh dear, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. What will we do? Suddenly, Kitten had an idea. What about Splat? He could play Spike's role. You guys see his face? Surprised. Splat's tail wiggled with worry. He wasn't sure he could do it. Splat looked at Kitten, smiling at him. He didn't want to disappoint her. So with all of his courage, Splat said yes. He'd play the part. A quick costume change, and Splat was now Paw Prince Charming. The costume wasn't exactly a perfect fit, though. Do you guys think it's a little big on him? The royal ball scene began. Paw Prince Charming bowed. May I have this dance? Cinder Paws accepted, and the music began. The pair danced and danced and danced until dong, dong, dong. The clock struck midnight, and Cinder Paws ran away. You guys have ever heard of the story Cinderella when the clock strikes strikes midnight and she runs away. Do you remember what happens? Does she forget something? Splat tried to chase after her but tripped over his oversized costume. He smashed into the plank into plank the clock. He grabbed the curtain and ripped it down. Then everything went tumbling. Splat not how it was supposed to end, I don't think. The crowd gasped. What a complete mess. Splat was really worried. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple is going to be so mad at me. The audience erupted in laughter and cheering. Bravo, they shouted. Encore. The show was a comedy hit. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple leaned in and whispered, Do you think you can do that again tomorrow night, Splat? There you go. So it wasn't exactly how Cinderella ends. It wasn't exactly how uh, that play was supposed to end either, I don't think. But um, it was funny nonetheless, right? So I think this book... Um, did a pretty good job at telling a story which connects 
to what we're going to do for writing today, which is Tell Me a Story Tuesday, okay? So um, this story was kind of based on another fairy tale, Cinderella, okay? So I want you guys to think of um, a story that you can tell, okay? So a story that you can tell as well. So um, yesterday we talked about, um, when we read Tops and Bottoms, we talked about the characters in the setting of the story. So the characters are who the story was about. The setting is where and when the story takes place. For today, for this book, I want you to talk to your moms and dads and adults at home, and I want you guys to talk about what was the problem in this story. There was a few of them, but I want you to talk about what one of the problems in this story was, okay? So what was the problem and how was the problem solved? So we're going to be talking about the problem and the solution, okay? Solution is how they solved it. So talk to them about the problem, what went wrong, and then the solution, which is how they solved it, okay? Um, for your writing today, it is Tell Me a Story Tuesday, so you guys will get to um, tell a story about something that you might want to tell a story about. So. Sometimes it's based on a photograph or a picture. Sometimes it could be a note from someone. Sometimes it could be a recipe in a book or just a random picture in a book. Maybe you tell a story about that. You talk about how Splat is feeling and how Seymour might be feeling, why they're wearing those costumes. You guys could tell a story about books, okay? That will be a different video where Miss Howes tells you a story about her. I found a picture, um, some of my friends have seen it, of when I was a little girl dressing up for Halloween. So I'm going to be telling a story about that. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this read aloud. Um, this was a special book for me and my kiddos in my homeroom might be seeing this book again. I'm not sure. They'll have to wait and see. Okay. So I hope you have a great day today. It's Tuesday, rolling through another week back. Um, doing some virtual learning. So I hope you guys have a great week. You're adjusting back to things nicely and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye everyone.